Gordon said to you. Yeah, I can give you permission as well. Hold on. Allow to record, no? yeah. What is it? Boom. Uh, okay. Allow to record, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, now it says host host allows you to record this meeting. So now I'm gonna press record. Okay, I'm recording. Let me just adjust the sound here, just a second, 100, and here. You can hear me okay, right? Yes, yes. Good. If, if there's a problem, just, just let me know and I'll fix it. Okay, okay. Okay, so I wanted to ask you something. Um, well, you have explained to me and the other people in the satsangs that, uh, when we say I, do, do we, I'm, I'm going to talk about myself, but of course it's for everybody. Yes. When, I, when I say I, uh, do you refer to I, Shay, the person, or do you refer to your true nature, which is what you call reality, awareness, uh, which, which has the quality to perceive uh, everything, Yet, even if it perceives nothing, it still fine. It still uh, exists. It's still, it's still whole and complete. Even if it feels, even if it doesn't perceive anything. In other words, you have told us that uh, that uh, reality or awareness, however name we wish to call it, does not depend on the external world and and the stimulus of the external world. Yes, and then. And then I'll, I'll get to my question in a second. And then you have also explained to me, to us uh, in the satsangs that in the moment, I call it pure perceiving for, because I, I lack a better name for it, but in, 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 in pure perceiving, there is no me, there is no you, there is no, uh, in pure perceiving it just happens, then a split of a second later, uh, the mind divides and says, oh, this is me, this is the computer, this is a table, this is Magdi over there in uh, California, this is a wall, and etc." So that happens, happens uh, th that's the mind doing it a, a split of a second later after what I call pure perceiving for, again, for lack of a better name to how to say it. And then you also uh, taught us uh, that, uh, that uh, there is always a belief uh, running in the background that uh, I, awareness, am a person or dependent on the body, mind, and the world. And then that we, we, that we need to challenge that belief if we want to wake up. And uh, the way we do it is, uh, you know, uh, if, if, if a belief uh, like, like, uh, if if I really a per, if I awareness am really a, a, a person, then I must have evidence, strong evidence for that proof. And then when a thought comes and says something, or the feeling comes says something, yes, the feeling is being perceived. Like if 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 a thought comes and says, oh, but but you don't see in the mirror you're just a person, for example, of course. And then, and then you say, yeah, but that thought is being perceived. So, you know, this thought doesn't know anything about me. This thought does not have a brain or a mind that can tell me something about me. And, if, and, and another example, if a feeling comes and says, oh, I feel like I'm just a person. Again, this feeling is being perceived. And again, the feeling does not know anything about me because the feeling does not have a brain or uh, a consciousness of its own. Um, so, so yeah, so I mean, I've been practicing that a lot and I, I, still, I, I still can shake off this belief I'm a person, even though I'm really 
really practicing it. So, so I don't understand what's missing in my practice. Yeah. <clears throat> So it's just it's just to, to make a comment before. Yes. You don't need to uh, remind yourself that you are consciousness. Uh, I'm not sure that that's what you said, but just in any case, just to make that point, you don't need to remind yourself that you are consciousness. Simply, you need to. Uh, Notice that whenever you assume yourself to be a limited entity, whenever you assume that consciousness is personal, dependent on the body-mind, exists in time and space, whenever you notice that, to ask yourself, what is the proof? What, is, what are the unshakable principles upon which I hold this belief and this feeling? That is sufficient because uh, in investigating, in conducting this investigation, you will eventually arrive to uh, a, clear, a clear, uh, understanding that I have investigated thoroughly and in spite of my thorough investigation, I have not found uh, any instance where there is confirming evidence that consciousness, the reality which perceives right now this moment, arises out of the brain, out of the world, is located um, in the, in the, behind the eyes or uh, is, is, is a, has a gender, uh, exists uh, in a particular, uh, exists more evidently in a particular set of time, a particular, a particular time and lesser at another particular time. Uh, and when, once you arrive to this, once you've conducted this thorough investigation, at some point you arrive to don't know. I don't know. I know I am that there, are, that there is a reality, but I don't know what this reality is. And that is uh, the what the Francis refers to as um, arriving to the path of energy. That's uh, leaving the path of the individual, the path of identity, arriving to the path of of the energy. There is still. Uh, a, I don't know what I am. Is there is still I know that which I am, but that is sufficient to arrive to. I don't know to remain as this not knowing. Um, now coming to your question that you have practicing, you're practicing this this teaching and you still feel there is something not, uh, not gelling. Uh, you need to ask yourself who and what is it that is practicing these practices on whose behalf am I practicing whatever I'm practicing, the teachings that I'm practicing. If there is still a person that is interested, that is, that is, it's not center that is seeking, is, is separating themselves. There is still, a, there's still a person who is practicing, then there will remain a shadow between whatever I'm assuming myself to be and the true being not knowing, the true, in the true being not knowing, 
there is no Mati, there is no Shat, Shai, Shai. There is no uh, goal, personal goal. It is the universe, which is universe in itself. It is the universe consciousness, which is <clears throat> right now loving and enjoying the contemplation, loving and enjoying uh, the inquiry into uh, itself. And uh, it's not about sometime, at some, at some point or at some time, I will uh, get it. Because the I that you are, the only I that is, the I of business of being, is whole and complete. As you said, every moment in your experience, your experience is total. There is nothing missing when you're experiencing the thought, the feeling, the sensation, the set of whatever you experience is nothing missing, even the thought that says, well, something is missing in itself is, is just another part of the panorama, another, another, another branch in the tree. It's just that there isn't in fact, it's not possible for any, anything to, to be lacking, to be missing. And so, you need to understand that awareness or consciousness is non-phenomenal. It's not affected in any way by any circumstances. And it is the reality, the only reality. Knows reality means knowingness. Absolute knowingness. It's knowing. It is knowing both in the presence of appearances, of thoughts, sensations, memories, feelings. It is knowing of, and it is knowing of itself as well. Of, it's knowing of its creation, of its perceptions, and it's self-knowing. So it is, a, it is that which is the uninterrupted aspect of your experience. Uninterrupted and uninterruptible reality of your experience. That which you, which you know always is. It's not your phenomenal experience. Because there are, there are gaps between thoughts and that which is uninterrupted in your experience is being, beingness. And the uh, This beingness, which is invisible, the invisible reality, takes on the form of this conversation, takes on the form of breath, takes on the form of thought, plays the game, the game of decision making in the world. It is the, the creator and the experiencer of the functioning of the body, the resilience of cellular various activities that are occurring within the body and in the universe. The universe and the body are co-created moment by moment. Because uh, in this moment, for example, you are in Israel, I'm in California. 
different time, different weather, different uh, situation. But yet there is an interrelation, a complete or whole, absolute interrelation of the world, the body, the mind. So in terms of practice, I rarely use the word practice as I don't prescribe a practice, except if of course something arises out of your love, then you can call it practice, but uh, we need to pay attention to the personal ambition or the personal seeking personal reward sometime in the future, sometimes if I do this and that and that and that, then I will, what is this I that we are referring to in our experience? Anytime you notice that your interest is arising out of your love for truth, it doesn't have a shadow in it. I want to get something for myself. Then it's very beautiful. It's just the universe loving through the particular body mind called Shai. But also to notice if and when there is the impression that some personal reward that I am looking for, for somebody, then to investigate that. Okay, if I understood you correctly, if something feels, if something feels uh, personal, that means that the person is looking for something? Well, uh, depends how you are meaning that. Uh, for example, uh, there are quite a few personal things that are personal to your particular body-mind. Your house, your car, your friends, your whatever your, your feelings are, appear. They are personal, your thoughts, they're personal to you, to the particular body mind. But this particular body mind is not the reality of I. All uh, seven billion of us. We feel certain things are personal. My thoughts are personal. Your thoughts are personal to you. <coughs> but uh, the perceiver of the thoughts and the creator of the thoughts is not, there is no personal creator or personal experience, sir. So that which is perceiving is I, that which is uh, through through any body mind. It's always I to be specific, but the perception, of course, is different. So your thoughts are personal to the particular body mind called Chai, and similarly here, but they don't belong. They don't. They're not originated nor are they, nor do they define the perceiver of that uh, through the perceiver, uh, through, the, through that particular body mind. The perceiver through all body minds is, is one perceiver. So you may feel and experience some aspects of your life are personal, 
in the phenomenal realm. So there's a distinction between that and what we are talking about, which is a, a, a reality of uh, the, the one reality, that the reality of consciousness. Oh. So the experience of person, the personal experience I'm talking about is in relation to being, to happiness, to peace. Uh, happiness is not personal. Consciousness is not personal. Peace is not personal. So the sun, the sun, it shines equally across the entire universe. It doesn't only shine on the planet Earth. And when it shines on the planet Earth, it's shining equally on all the mountains, trees, fields, lakes, oceans. In some cases, the sunshine, the rays of the sun don't reach the ocean because of clouds or don't reach the ground because of trees and the shadow the shadow of the trees, but irrespective of how it appears to be shining across the universe, it is shining equally. And it's never shining in a more favorable way. Somewhere over, somewhere else. So, <clears throat> The, <clears throat> uh, the sunshine, uh, the light of being consciousness is uh, not seeking to shine across the Pacific Ocean in order to feed the algae in the, or the oxygenate the Pacific Ocean more than the Atlantic Ocean or the Mediterranean. So there isn't a personal uh, happiness In, in, the, in the entire universe. I understand what you're saying. Let me just give you a, a, case, a, a case example of what uh, I feel I'm experiencing. Let's say that right now, I f not right now, like let's say I, I feel suffering. And then when I check the belief that's always that's running in the background behind the curtain is, oh, I'm suffering right now because I, uh, I, I awareness or uh, consciousness feel that I am a person. And, and then a feeling would come and I would say, and I try to challenge it and I say, okay, well, this feeling uh, is being perceived and it doesn't know anything about me, the real me, not the person. But then a thought would come and say, oh, but can't you see you're just a person? And then I would challenge that thought and say, oh, but this thought cannot know anything about me as we talked about before. But then another feeling would come and another thought would come and another feeling would come and another thought would come. And then at, at, at some point I, I, I just can't, can't. Uh... Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. So me, maybe going through this process of the inquiry into the belief 
that I is known or limited by thoughts or feelings. Or the body. Or body. So I may be going through this inquiry, but at the same time, I want something. So there is, there is a personal drive for, for me. Uh, that would be the spoiler. In the midst of this inquiry, that would be the spoiler that I am still assuming myself, in spite of this inquiry, I'm still assuming myself to be somebody. I'm still assuming myself to be, to be shy. So you have to also surrender that. You have to also see that that process going, that process is going on. Oh wow, I'm really doing really I'm doing the 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 the, the sadhana, I'm doing it correctly, but also I want it to work. I want it to work for myself, obviously. Yeah, it's not like I mean I I, I want it to work. See, I, I want it, I the I that wants it to work. Now we're back to to Shay. I want it to work for me. So you need to see that there is some spoiler. There is a spoiler in the midst of this of this this activity. So rest as being, resting as being is simply noticing and saying, ah, I see, okay, I see that it's about, there is a personal ambition. Oh. And uh, rest, hang, hang, hang with that seeing, don't, don't move so fast. Notice, ah, okay, it's interesting. It, you know, it's working. I see that thoughts don't know me, sensations don't know me. But they also see, ah, I, but I want something out of that. So there is the understanding. And then, sorry to interrupt you. Isn't wanting to, to, to wake up a, a good thing? For whom? Even for consciousness, wanting to remember itself. What is it that is not awake right now? The, 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 the person, me, the person, me, the person. Which is nowhere to be found, right? Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just thought, feeling, sensations, body. Right, so there is no person to be found. There is a stream of thoughts, sensations, perceptions. Uh, There's also awareness, being, being the reality that perceives, but it's in terms of the person, in terms of the person that wants to awake, awaken. When I say me, and I'm referring to the person, the me is a thought, a feeling in the body, and the picture of the body. Yeah, but there is no no me in fact, right? I... There is no such thing. Well, if there is no such thing as me, me the person, you mean? Yeah. Well, uh, I, I mean... There is consciousness. Well, uh, oh, wait, there, the reality that perceives. There is reality that perceives, and then there's thoughts, feelings, sensation, and, uh, okay. and a body. But the thought, as soon as the thought arises, is dissolving. So the reality of the thought is nowhere to be found in the thought. You only find it in awareness and consciousness. A memory, you remember, you know, what you did yesterday. There is no reality in that event. The reality of that event is in 
the awareness of the memory. Right, a feeling, a feeling also can come and go. Sometimes I feel something, sometimes I don't feel anything. Well, but, well, yeah, but, but, but uh, the, the body uh, still doesn't disappear. I mean, one day it will, you know, when I'm old, or maybe if I, you know, something happens, but in this moment, the body doesn't go away anywhere. No, the body doesn't go, of course, but but the, the body is not the me. Body is uh, whatever you want it to be. Thoughts, oh. sensation, feeling, an image. Uh, experientially, I mean, the body is, I mean, besides the concept of the body, in our experience, uh, you can say the body is, let's say, uh, a sensation or a feeling or, or some sort of, how would you define the body in this moment, you say? It's not, it, it, it's not a me, I'm not denying that there is uh, an organism, which is very complex. I mean, it's, it's very, very, complex and intricate and uh, difficult to define, but also this body is not a separate, uh, a separate entity. It's in an inter interconnection with the, with the cosmic, with the cosmic fields and the, this is zillions of, of, of uh, uh, electrons and, and ray, uh, galactic radiation or galactic ra radiation field, galactic radiation fields and, and forces of elements are interacting uh, in a very complex manner. Uh, so the, so the, the, the body at the local manifestation and the universal uh, Activity of the of the cosmos is really difficult to pin down the body. I'm not saying there isn't a body, but it isn't like there isn't is is a separate separate a reality. That's say okay, separated out of the wholeness. Say well, that's the body. And that's me. Uh, that's that's not true scientifically. That's not true. In fact, it's inexperientially outside of the belief that. I am a body and there is like something fixed, you know, which, so when we take a look at that, uh, we realize that, okay, yes, uh, it, it, there is an, a, a field of manifestation that, that the, real, the reality of which is the one reality when we come, when we come to, to reality, the capacity to, to comprehend about consciousness, about reality, this capacity of comprehension uh, reveals the, the reality of, of consciousness as being the reality of, of the body, of the world, of the mind, of, of, of the, 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 one, the one reality. But, oh, I think I understand. Oh. Like the body is an organism which is dependent upon the universe. Uh, and interactive, and interactive. And interactive, because the body couldn't survive without water, sunlight, and etc. So there is an organism here that, that, if we take out the word body, there is an organism that is dependent upon the rest of the universe to, and, to survive. And, 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 and who, who can say that the universe is not also dependent on the body? I mean, we don't know. We also breathe. We breathe in the universe, right? I mean, this organism breathes in the universe. Right. Who could say that? Oh well, no, that that breath is not it. It is not helping the universe. It's not in the interaction. It's not like well, the body is depends on the on the universe. It's not so much like a dependence. It's an interactive field, right? It's right. Like in the ocean, you have a a whirlpool that 
uh, you can't separate the whirlpool from from the ocean, nor can you separate the ocean from the whirlpool. Right, right. But then when you say that there is no uh, person, you said, you mean because, because when I say I am Shay, well, Shay is just a name that I was given, but I am Shay, I, I am this, I am that. Those thoughts and, and feelings, they, they just come and go all the time. That, that's what you, that's what you, and, and the only thing that's always there is the perceiving of thoughts or no thoughts, feelings or no feelings? Yes. All... What you mean that, that there is no person uh, as, the, as the reality? I think. When I say there is no person, that that which is can, cannot not be. So. What perceives? That which is. Whatever it is, if it's a person, that which is cannot not be. But the person can not be. For example, you can kill a person, and, and, you know, that person is dead. Yeah. So that which is cannot not be. So in that sense, reality is that which cannot not be. But but can I can I can I can I experience uh, the, the the non person without uh, need, needing to be killed for, <laughs> or die? You know, just using absolutely. another. Absolutely. Just just ask yourself: Am I aware? I'm always aware. I'm always perceiving. Okay. It's a different from: Is the body aware? Right. So when you yeah. the experience of awareness is the experience of this reality without the body being killed oh. in the presence of the body. Oh. oh. And also, now that I think about it, while we were talking, uh, when I say, even when I get a thought and a feeling, I am a person, I am Shay, I am this, those thoughts and feelings always come and go. I don't 100% uh, of the time, all the time, think I'm, a sh I'm Shay, I'm a person. Sometimes I think, sometimes I don't think it. <clears throat> yeah, most of the time, most of the time you don't. Yeah, most of the time. Most of the time you're enjoying uh, dinner, you're, you're answering the phone, you're, you're having a conversation, you're going for a walk. You know, yes, most of the time, no, no. You, you, you don't. But we are talking about the, uh, yeah, the, the eradication of, of, of this, uh, this false belief. But yes, most of the time we don't. But we never, we never experience not being. We never experience non-being. Right. Right. Not, we never experience non-isness. Right. Right, right, yes. Okay, well, I think I got uh, plenty of uh, things to uh, inquire, to keep inquiring. And uh, well, uh, thank you so much, Magdi, for this okay. uh, session. Okay. If you want to share this with your students, then please go right ahead. Okay, okay, wonderful. And, and um, and yeah, I'll, I'll try to get on the next satsangs, even though it's very late here. At yeah, I, I've been thinking about uh, making the meetings earlier. So right now I'm in the process of making a decision about this. Okay. So it's possible that the meetings will be at mm, 10 o'clock our time here, meaning, what would that be, 6 p.m. your time? I'm not sure. Uh, how how many hours apart are we? Uh... Uh, I think. Wait, you are in California right now. Yeah. Uh, just a second, let me check. California time. California time. Okay, so right now it's uh, three forty-five a.m. and here in Israel it's uh, one forty-five p.m. So, I am 10 hours ahead of you. So, so 10 o'clock California time, 10 a.m. would be uh, 
8. Yeah, 8 p.m. PM. 8, 8 p.m. Like you. So there is, the, there is a possibility of, of uh, <clears throat> changing, changing the, the, the schedule. I'm also um, thinking of uh, having uh, some uh, meetings, uh, meditation, and uh, a dialogue, and some meetings, only dialogue. Oh, okay. only uh, conversations. Just to sort of uh, separate that and feel like separating the meditation from from the the meeting, so we can go straight into the meetings with without uh, having oh. to, to prep. And so I'm um, also uh, possibly there will be a change in the format as well. By the way, just just out of curiosity, Magdi. Mm -hmm. Uh, I heard that uh, Francis uh, is teaches I don't know how to say, Kashmiri Shaivism, something like that, Tantra, Kashmiri Tantra. Yes, I. What's that all about? Francis's teacher is uh, Jean Jean Klein, and Jean Klein yeah. was a, a teacher who mm. was a Kashmiri Shaivist. Um, so he learned uh, from John Klein. Learned from his teacher about the uh, about the yoga. So the the yoga and the, and the Kashmiri tantra and the Kashmiri tantra are basically yogas um, that uh, help the student to uh, experience their their body at the at the at the at the, at the, at the feeling state experience and experience their body as consciousness as borderless as uh, oh. uh, non, not limited and not not look not locate not location so there is the understanding which what which is the the uh, the path of knowledge yeah and there is the uh, also at the, the the work at the at the feeling state sort of to to uh, have get a taste of the state of expansion and uh, the state of uh, non-localization. Have you thought about teaching that as well? Uh, whenever I do retreats, uh, I, yes. also, I also uh, include some, uh, some meditations that... Uh, oh, it's only, only, only in retreats you can teach it? Yes, yes, only in... in, in, in at, wow. Although, wow. although, although in... Uh, in the meditations, because of course we are doing virtual virtual meditation on Zoom, uh, there is a at times uh, an invitation in the meditation to experience yourself as non-local and as borderless. So there is that sort of invitation and the guided meditation is a form of yoga. Yoga is not just the a, a physical. Yeah, I know, I know. I read that I read about the yogas and the tantras, and I understand the yoga is the path. I understand. Have you thought about doing a virtual retreat with the uh, teaching the other aspects of no? I haven't, I have not, no. Maybe you should think about doing a virtual retreat because I think, well, I, I know I, I know that, that for myself it's difficult to travel right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Some other people would have also a, oftentimes a, a hard time traveling. So in a virtual retreat, everybody can participate and uh, can follow your instructions yes. for uh, inquiries of... Yeah. I don't have the... Uh, um, yes, yes. I, I, I also, uh, I have to look into how to how to set it up. How to? Well, if I can help, I I will. I mean, if I if I can do anything to help you, just let me know. I'll do it. Okay. I'll help. Okay, that would be great. Yeah. Thank you, Shai. Uh, I'll take a look in that direction. And then in a retreat, you can also you can also in a retreat you can also teach the knowledge and the uh, non-localization uh, practices that you 
to, that you have been uh, that you know from uh, Francis. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, think about it, and I can always help if I can. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Magdi. Thank you so much for this. Okay. 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 See you around. Okay. See you.